Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Prehistoric Companions. I'm Dylan, and today I've put together a small list of things that I came up with off the top of my head of ways that you can make money off of reptiles. So when people think about making uh, money, a potential career off of reptiles, obviously the number one thing that comes to mind is breeding them. This is a no-brainer. That's definitely a big plan of mine this year, 2021, once I can amp up my Royal Python collection. This is a pied male. This is Danger Noodle. He is a male. Uh, how old is this? I think like six, seven months old now. And I haven't weighed him, but hopefully come October, November, he'll be over 500 grams right at that mark, and that is an appropriate rate uh, weight to uh, pair up your male ball python. So I'll have to find a cool female, something head pied or visual pied, something with more genes, and see if we can make more visual pieds with this guy. And then, of course, those offspring won't be ready and available till. Uh, the following year, 2022. There are so many different, amazing, amazing different types of reptiles out there. These royal pythons, ball pythons, just so happen to be like uh, one of the best beginner reptile pets, and they're not super ultra complicated to breed. There is a lot involved in it, but they are, uh, from my research, uh, seem to be one of the uh, easier species to work with. So, but there's so many out there, and all of them are unique in their own special way. And there definitely needs to be more reptile hobbyists out there. I definitely want to look into, hopefully in the future, breeding frill dragons. Those are amazing. They look like Dilophosaurus from the first Jurassic Park movie. I love them. They're incredible. I want to breed those. So the second way that you can make money off of reptiles is through educating. And this is probably one of the more purposeful ways of making money off of reptiles is teaching other people about them because they ain't just like a cat and a dog. You know, I mean, their cat and dogs are a lot more hardy and forgiving. You know, you can take them all kinds of places, you know, on road trips and cold weather, hot weather, whatever. You know, they're a lot more durable than a lot of species of reptiles. You know, we can't take these. I live in Colorado and it's so cold out right now. I can't take my snakes for a walk. They freeze. Oh, the dragon lights went out. Kind of recording this a little later in the evening. So yeah, education. Uh, I taught a group of kids on my route. I'm a mail carrier by day, pays the bills, gets the animals fed. And I uh, noticed the uh, school director in the HOA on my route for that subdivision. I was like, hey, uh, I got some like, uh, scaly critters and all kinds of uh, cool reptiles. You think the kids might want to learn about them? And they loved the idea. <laughs> so from there, you know, just worked with them. I gave them my contact information and I packed up, uh, at the time I didn't have this awesome guy, but you know, I packed up my dragons and I had uh, Vegeta, my banana ball python at the time. And I packed them up, brought them to the school and for about an hour, two hours, you know, taught this group of kids and hopefully made a tremendous impact on their lives. You could also uh, contact whoever directs events uh, at a uh, retirement home or an elderly folks home. Uh, typically those kind of places will have budgets to uh, put on activities and events for the people who live in those communities. Something that I'm going to look into uh, this summer or soon, you know, this year, 2021. I'll even look into other public events. I, you know, sometimes I see like street performers, musicians, and other people that do whatever. Uh, the area I live in, Glenwood Springs, Colorado, is pretty touristy. 
So there's gotta be some sort of niche around here where I could get out in the summer when it's really nice here and get the animals out, get some fresh sun and meet up with some people. I am interested in doing the farmer's market, which brings us to our next topic, uh, reptile making, reptile related artwork, because you can't sell animals at the farmer's market. Now you can't sell animals at the farmer's market is one of the things that I've come to learn. Is there have been people who have allegedly tried to like breed dogs or have cats or puppies, whatever, and try to sell them at a farmer's market, so that's a no-go. But uh, if I promote education and sell education, promote my YouTube channel, and have other reptile-related artwork such as this, I've been working on creating bottle lamps out of old recycled bottles and using simple sculptural techniques to create like this snake-like form and painted kind of this crazy pattern on this ball python here. I want to, as I produce more of these, I want to try and accurately represent the various different genes that you can find in these awesome animals and create functional art pieces. I have one here that's all lit up, has lights in it. This isn't reptile theme, but it's one that I made back in college. And it's functional, it lights up, and people like functional art. You can do reptile paintings. This is a huge, forget the dimensions on this, acrylic painting of a bearded dragon. It's kind of a marble technique, watered down acrylics, and just letting all the different colors interact and swirl with each other. So this is probably about a two and a half foot by four foot canvas. And we've got a couple more examples of some acrylic paintings. Space snakes, snakes in space. Lots of color, splashes of color. Not really sure what the heck I did with that one, but you know, lots of color, explosion of color. I like it. If you're a creative individual, making some uh, reptile-related artwork might be an avenue to explore now. So, other ways that you can make money off of reptiles is I came across this video on TikTok. Can't remember all the specificities of it, but something that I want to look into is creating children's books. I'm currently working on a reptile coloring book. It's reptiles, planets, and flower theme. And I'll have to find a publisher to get that published once I can get the designs all together. When and if I can get that book made, if I ever can get away from my day job enough to actually work on it. This video on TikTok, it, uh, was associated with like Amazon eBooks. You can create like short stories with really simple pictures, really simple designs, and upload your eBook onto uh, Amazon's profile, wherever the downloadable eBooks are, and people could purchase them and let their children read and look at these books on their tablets or iPhones or whatever. So that's another way you can make money off of reptiles. And the last one, the last idea or way that you can make money off of reptiles is through starting a YouTube channel. Now I'm only at 30 subscribers right now. Last I checked my stats, I think I'm at like 55, 60 hours of watch time. In order to get monetized with YouTube, you need 1,000 subscribers minimum and about 4,000 hours of public watch time other people watching your videos and that adds up to 4,000 hours of your videos being watched. I've got like 36 videos up now and it's all still pretty experimental and I'm starting to discover more ways how I can enhance my viewers experience on this channel definitely going to get a good camera thinking about purchasing a Canon M50 so I like the white one <laughs> so we'll see definitely got to enhance the production value have better content probably not so much unnecessary things being said and I got to stop saying um 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 I think 
I catch myself doing that. I watch my videos and I'm like, darn it, Dylan, you say um too much. I'm thinking too much, so I need to plan out my videos a little better and make them more interesting for you. So being monetized essentially means that you can have ads in your videos and you can place them however you want your videos or what kind of advertisements you want your videos, how frequently they show up in your videos. There's other ways within the YouTube platform that you can make money too via like a super chats or having a Patreon account. There's, there's some ways. You can do Amazon affiliate on your YouTube channel where you talk about different products that you use in your reptile room like thermostats or just the various different supplies that you order for your critters. Now, all the things that I've talked about in this video, I have not actually done yet, but I will. So those are my ways that uh, you can make money off of your reptiles if you're interested. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment below if you have any other cool ideas of how money can be made or how you can have a career with animals and exotic animals. So thank you guys for staying tuned till the end. Uh, don't forget to wear your mask. We're still in the middle of this pandemic. It needs to end. So be great to your mail carrier as well out there. We're working hard getting everybody's packages delivered, hopefully sooner than later. And guys, I'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace.